Hello, in this session, I will be explaining about custom info type creation. Each sub module of SAP HCM has its own range of info types. If we go to personal administration sub module, the range is 4 zeros to 0 triple 9. For organizational management, it is 1 series 1 triple 0 to 1 triple 9. For time management, is 2 series and for recruitment is 4 series. Whenever we want to create any custom info type, if any delivered standard info type does not suffice our requirement, we need to create a custom info type, the range will be followed 9 series. I will be explaining personal administration custom info type. In next session, I will also explain how to create custom info type for organizational management model. For personal administration sub module, the transaction code is PM01 to create custom info type. We need to select the tab creation of info type. We can choose employee info type. When we click on generated objects, all these objects will be generated. Each info type, there will be a structure to be generated, one module full program and screens. Once the structure and program screens generated, we need to go to info type characteristics to add the characteristics like the time constraint and other information and the technical attributes will be showing us the module full program, the dialog module and the table name. Once we completed creation of custom info type, we can test that custom info type going to the transaction code PA30, give the employee number and enter the info type to record the data for that employee for this custom info type we created. I'll be explaining how we can do in the system in the next session. Thank you for watching. Hello, in this session, I will be showing how to create one custom info type. I will be taking the requirement to record employees feedback for leadership and other facilities. I will be creating one PA custom info type. The transaction code that I will be using is PM01. Let me give one custom info type number. 9 series number, I am using 9021, click on generate objects, remember when you click generate objects of employee info type, first thing that will be created is PS structure, if the info type number is 9021, the PS structure that will be created is PS9021, click generate object, does not exist, click create, Give the description employee feedback let me give leadership feedback on leadership and i can give the feedback on team example scenario i'm using let me create a data element i want to make employee Select one of the feedback data element. You create a domain so that we can give the values that the employee will be selecting when we record the feedback. Double click to create the domain. Give us character and you can give the length to and the value range. I can give one is one is excellent. 
टू इज वेरी गुड थ्री इज गुड एंड फोर इज नीड इंप्रूवमेंट दीज आर द ऑप्शन वेन विल बी यूजिंग दिस इनपो टाइप विल बी शोन टू अस एक्टिवेट द डोमेन एक्टिवेट द डाटा एलिमेंट Similarly, for the team feedback, also we can use the same one. Click and save, activate, structure activated. Click and save. Get a customizing TR to store the record, store these changes. Click OK. Save. this goes to the info type attributes what you can give go do you can take any existing info type select and copy you can click new new entries and fill all these characteristics or you can choose an existing info type copy it so that you need to change only few of the values no need to populate all the details so Our info type was nine zero two one, and the description is is MPI feedback. Press enter. Click save. We already created one customized request. We can otherwise you can create one. Use that customized request to save these changes. So what basically we did is we are going to update the time time constraint and other attributes. I'll show you nine zero two one. If you go to info type characteristics, go to the info type nine zero two one. You can see the time constraint and the dialog module, database table, all this information. We have populated. This is nothing but the technical characteristic, uh, info type characteristics. If you go go to technical characteristics, you can find out the structure, table, the module pool program, all this information. Even you double click on the dialog module, you can see the assignment of the dialog module to the program. Basically, we have clicked on generated objects. and created a structure activated maintain the info type characteristics that's all how we create one custom info type let's go and test this custom info type i'll go to pa30 transaction code where i can update employee master data choose an employee and enter your info type number press enter the text of that info type will come click and create once you create you can see employee feedback source okay you can choose the value the domain level values comes automatically you can observe the name of this the levels of the fields are same employee feedback because we use the same data element but we can change it how we can change it let's change it because the first one was Leadership feedback and team feedback. How do we change? Whenever you created the info type, one screen got created. Even module pool program. If you click on screen, click edit, click on change, click on layout. You will see the screen that info type, custom info type screen will appear. We need to change it. The field levels. See, it was basically leadership feedback. Leadership feedback, and this was team feedback. Same like the module pool program, the generated module pool program also can be changed. Click and save. Activate the screen. Now 
click on OK. The multiple program is activated. Now, if you go back to employee, let me refresh the transaction code PA30 to maintain the data. Enter the info type number. Click and create. You can observe the text has been changed leadership and team. You can choose the values of leadership, say leadership feedback, employee recorded, recorded as excellent, and team feedback employee recorded as good click on save you can see the record created so we have created one custom info type and we use that custom info type to record the data for the employee let's validate this employee's data in table as it is pa info type and 9021 is our info type number the corresponding database table that will be created is pa9021 PA9021 give the employee number 10 that we create a record for employee number 10 for employee uh, feedback 9021 click execute you can see the record that you created will be appearing we have given the leadership feedback 1 and team feedback as 3 so that's how we create one custom info type for personal administration submodel using pm01 and enter records for that info type choosing one employee validating the data that got created saved in backend using the custom table thank you for watching